You'll be happy to know Instagram finally gave us insights for reels. But before you get too excited, let me report the bad news and then we'll get into how you can use the new Reels insights to grow your audience and your business. Bad news number one, not everyone has Reel insights. Not everyone even has Reels right now. So just know when Instagram says it's rolling out a new feature, it's not going to happen for everyone all at once, but eventually you will get Reel insights. So you need to watch this so that you know how to read them and use them to perfect your Reels. Bad news number two, the number one factor when it comes to a reel performing well is watch time. How long on average is your audience watching your video? And in order for us to know what the watch time is, we need to know what the audience retention is. They give us this insight in IGTV. TikTok gives us this insight. We can see on average how long someone is watching your video. And on YouTube, they give us audience retention. And it's very helpful because we can see when people drop off and we can see when people watch the entire video and even better, when they watch it more than once. And we don't get that in Reels. However, there is a way to figure it out without it. And I'm gonna show you that, let's go. Before I get into how to figure it out without having that audience retention rate, I wanna show you what it looks like when you do have the audience retention rate. I pulled up one of my TikTok accounts and I'm showing you the analytics behind it. So if I go to this trending video, then it shows you the length of the video was 12.12 seconds, average watch time was 12.2 seconds. That means they're watching it and then they're watching it again, some people are. And it says 59% of the people who watched it watched the entire video. So this got pushed out to the For You page and that would be like it getting pushed out to the Reels page and getting in front of people who are not already following me. That's money, that's the sweet spot. That's what's going to get people watching more. Not just that, but that's the main factor that you wanna focus on. We don't have that in Reels. Now let me show you what you do get with Reel Insights. I pulled up the creator's account that Instagram has where it shows you exactly what your Reel Insights will look like and how to read them. So the first thing that we see is the accounts reached. In this example, 8,222 accounts were reached, but the plays are more than the reach, 12,211. That means people were watching this video more than once. That makes for really good watch time. Then you can go down and you can see the likes, the comments, the shares, and the saves. In my opinion, watch time is number one when it comes to a successful reel. Number two would be shares. If you have people sharing your video, that means people thought it was worthy enough to go and share it with their audience. That tells the algorithm, dang, this must be really good. Let's show it to even more people. So shares is really important. Likes, meh. Comments, yeah, that's important. But shares and then saves, those are more important. They also gave us this update. Now we can see out of all the people who were sent your video or your post, it doesn't matter, you can see were these people already following you or were these people not following you but now you've got new eyeballs on your content. That's really important. Then it shows you what posts are going out to people who are not following you. If yours looks like mine, it's the reels that are getting sent to the people who are not following you. That's why reels is so key when it comes to growing your audience. Now your content is what's going to get the right people to come back to your account. So you need to make sure you've got reels that people want to watch, that they want to share, and then the content in them should be something that your ideal follower, your ideal client would want more of. That gets them curious enough to come back to your account, and now you have just increased the chances of that person following you and binge watching the rest of your content and therefore getting to know, like, and trust you, which leads to you converting them into a customer. Cha -ching. Let me show you how you can access your insights. The first way is you go to your feed, not your Reels channel, but your feed. Then select the Reel you want to look at, tap View Insights. Now you can see accounts reached, plays, likes, comments, and shares. That's way number one. The other way to do it is just to go to your account 
and then tap Insights and scroll down to where you see Reels and hit the next arrow. And now you can see the plays and the shares of all of the Reels since they came out with Insights. And you can select, let's say, Shares. And now you can see which one of these Reels got the most shares. And the one with the most shares is the one that you should double down on and create more content like that. So that one would be this reel right here for me. If you want to see how many people are seeing your content that are not following you versus those who are already following you, then go back to your homepage, hit insights again. Now you're going to go to accounts reached. You can scroll down and you can see over the last seven days or over the last 30 days, how many accounts were reached that were either following you or not following you. And then scroll down to the type of content and you can see which out of all of your types of content is getting pushed out to people who are not following you. I guarantee you, your reels are going to be getting pushed out to more people not following you than any other content because Instagram is really pushing reels right now. As for what kind of content should you be putting in your reels so you attract the right people to your account, watch this video right here. And if you like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because the YouTube algorithm is watching.